I am Jim Collison, and this is the Clifton Strengths Podcast Season 3, recorded on February 26th, 2024. In this Clifton Strengths Podcast series, we'll look at how to feel more energized and motivated at work, one theme at a time. Today's theme is positivity. If you're listening live, you can join us in chat, or if you have questions after the fact, maybe on the podcast or YouTube video, you can send your questions, coaching at gallup.com. Dr. Jacqueline Robinson is our host today. She works as a senior learning and development consultant. And join me for seasons one and two of the Clifton Strengths podcast, where we looked at well being at work, the book, and our Clifton Strengths role based reports. Jacqueline, always great to be with you. Welcome back. Thank you. We are spending some time this season talking about bringing energy and motivation to work to your themes. Today, we're talking about positivity. We'll talk yay. about the individual. For, yeah, it does kind of require a yay, <laughs> doesn't it? Yay, oh, especially oh. if you have it. Yeah. We've got it. <laughs> yeah. Br- bring in the gold. Bring in the gold today. So what are some ways an individual with positivity can feel more energized by focusing on their basic needs? What I see happen typically right off the bat for those high in positivity is you're considering the positive opportunities that come from conducting the work or those expectations that you've got in the workplace. So that could be, you know, excitement about the opportunity to collaborate with team members or to learn something new or to engage with great customers. Um, The second piece of that, as you think about creating energy with your basic needs is to say, do I have what I need to have an engaging experience as I complete the work? What else might be missing that I need to, you know, connect with my manager or team members on? What do you think about avoiding situations? Like, I I know I struggle if I've put myself in a situation that's overly critical, right? I, and again, not that from a basic needs standpoint, not that I always, it always needs to be sunshine and rainbows, right? Mm -hmm. But, but, but sometimes when it gets bogged down or it's overly critical, I kind of struggle a little bit of that and I need kind of an infusion or I'll bring an infusion. Sometimes I just say, yeah. all right, enough. We're going to do this. I don't know. Anything you'd add to that? Yeah, that's true. That's where it it can be helpful to know who your fellow champions are as an accountability partner. Those that can give you the boost when sometimes the positivity is, you know, uh, the fuel tank is on empty with your positivity because of that negative scenario. It's nice to have a person around you that can inject that enthusiasm back and help you reset and go, okay, what's the opportunity here? How do I get myself out of this challenge or this adversity? Yeah. I've been, if you've listened Friday or today's just Monday, I've been sick all weekend. Uh, I, I, when I get sick, I always tell my wife, I am the place that illnesses go to die. I take this positive (laughs) approach to it. I'm like, well, there's nothing I can do about it anyways, right? I mean, mm-hmm. I, can, I can get rest and I can heal. But but the 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 fact of the matter is I kind of even in this, I take a positive approach to it and be like, well, it ends with me, you know, mm-hmm. type, type deal. Just to try and put me in that in that positive uh, mindset. Um, what do you think are some ways an individual with a positive positivity can feel more energized by focusing on their individual strengths and development? Um, I think it can be easier to find the positive in all aspects of work, work life sometimes, because even when you're challenged, it's, it's, you know, that, that, that um, natural mindset is, well, and then glass half full, you know, you find the opportunity and the obstacle. So at times, it, I think it can be more difficult to pinpoint what truly gives you energy when you want to develop yourself further. And that's where, you know, Connecting with a trusted confidant at work that can serve as an accountability partner or mirror, that could even be your manager, if not a friend at work, um, can be fruitful here to say, when have you seen me just shine and thrive? That outside perspective coupled with your best of the best days at work that you think about can help you really start to identify and home in on what you truly love and what you seek to develop. Mm. Yeah, I'm trying to, as you were saying that, I'm trying to put in words, I think sometimes we equate positivity with happiness Mm -hmm. and it, and it can, and I think it does have other terms like contentment Mm -hmm. or like energy, or, you know, I'm trying to think through some other words that um, enthusiasm. Yeah. Yeah. Or, Or 
you know, just maybe in a situation, I, I don't know. I think you said the word love, but uh, if you didn't, I'll, I'll insert it in there. That may be one of those where it's like these emotions that drive us or push us forward mm -hmm. rather than hold us back, right? Mm -hmm. Fear fear holds us back. Love pushes us forward. Mm -hmm. And um, and and those maybe aren't opposites. But it it, you know, as I'm as I'm thinking through that sometimes with our own development, I think that positivity can help both us and us help others in pushing the momentum forward. And maybe that's another word there is is mm -hmm. positive momentum. Again, I use the word in the definition, but I don't know. Respond to that. What what else would you what do you think about that? Yeah, I like what you're saying there too. And that is that that strand we often hear with the positivity theme of um, being able to manage and overcome adversity or challenges to push through to sustain momentum. Sometimes like we discussed with self-assurance or activator in their own regards of, you know, self-assurance, oh, I've got this activator. I'm not afraid to, to fail. I'll just try and fail until I get it right. Positivity is that other one that can help overcome adversity. Um, yeah. So I, I, I hear and receive what you're saying for sure. I think yeah. sometimes that's what I've noticed in, in coaching too, is that's what can make it difficult at times to, to pinpoint what do I really love? Because you're going to push through regardless and find, you know, sometimes that glass half full, whether it's something that gives you a lot of energy or it doesn't. And so I, I think it can be helpful to think of what are those best days that you have? When do you feel the energy the most? Or what are people saying where they see your face just light up because you really love the work yeah. to help you sort through where you want to develop specifically? Mm. Yeah, it is game changing. Because everything and, sounds right. Yeah, energizing. Otherwise, it can can I won't say yeah. does, but can. yeah. In the context of relationships, it's game changing, and yeah. you know, it, it, and it, it 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 is powerful that when mm -hmm. it, it provides that that boost, that accelerant, that whatever to get people to moving forward. Let's so let's ask this yeah. question: What are some ways an individual with positivity can feel more? energized by building partnerships and finding purpose within their role? Ooh, well, working on teams with engaged colleagues who are just as optimistic and or committed to the mission and the work. You know, you feed off that positive energy and can reciprocate it back by celebrating the big and the small milestones that you and your team are achieving along the way. Um, the partnerships that are going to feel more daunting or more difficult are those with the naysayers or the actively disengaged, um, the critical folks, those that are going to see the glass half empty instead of half full. Do, would you say positivity brings perspective? It can bring perspective in a, mm -hmm. like in, a, in that kind of setting to say, hey, there are other ways, you know, in a, maybe yeah. in, in a negative light. There's some other ways to look at this. I don't know. Any, mm -hmm. any, any thoughts on that? Bringing perspective? Yeah. I think with the um, glass half full approach, yeah. there's more uh, of that solution focused mindset. So even if there's a problem, let's think about the solution or let's think about some opportunities that might mm. come from this where we can now, you know, shift gears or take ourselves in a new direction that's still going to help us hit that target versus getting stuck in the weeds and having more of that closed minded approach. Yeah, I would well, agree with you. I see it providing that in an area, especially in the me to we, when we think about the, you know, the, that question is really designed around building partnerships, mm -hmm. but in that team setting to be able to just go beyond, it's going to be okay for me <laughs> to it's going to be okay for us. Mm -hmm. And that's a challenge. Like you mm -hmm. and I both know with high positivity, that that's not always well received in a, in a group setting. That's not always well perceived, right? It, because it being received and perceived are totally different things. And, and so the perception of it could be disingenuous or the perception of it could be, you know, just, you're just overly happy or you're always, you know, you're always uh, overly excited about things. Mm -hmm. uh, the It being received in that way is the other challenge where it actually has a, ability to bridge the gap or bring people to another place or yeah better the relationship right um from that standpoint so um let's talk about the manager uh, how can a manager with with positivity support others with their basic needs 
Well, by fostering a positive and motivating environment that generates optimism for the expectations, <laughs> share the benefits and the opportunities that come from the work that the team's about to um, endeavor upon, and then also inquire about the resources needed to carry out the work so that success and positive engagement can occur in that, mm. that given task or team project. Yeah. It's, that's, this is a really hard role for a manager, I think. Uh, just because of the challenges that come with leading and, mm -hmm. and how many, you know, how, how this, how that rubs up against it from time to, it, 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 I think sometimes in team settings, I mean, just think about what we've been through over the last five years. Yeah. It, 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 it take an absolute beating in, 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 um, in some environments. How do you think? Um, yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah, how do you let, let's from a manager stand? If you're thinking about managers, managers with high positivity, what would be your advice for those who have say they're having high positivity and they themselves are feeling kind of kind of de-energized, mm -hmm. you know, beat up a little bit? I don't know what 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 would you say to them? Oh yes, um, find your avenue that allows you to recharge. So, yeah. what helps you? you know, get your battery full again. And we, we've joked many times and I say, we just, um, internally within Gallup, if we're connecting with people and people that have positivity, you almost feel like the superhero, you know, Superman or superwoman that has to go fly to the sun and get recharged. <laughs> so sometimes the sunlight feels like it, it gives you energy just being outside, but, um, it looks different for everybody. So if you've got positivity high, what does, recharge your battery. I've heard others say it's not necessarily being outside, but just being alone. You know, I need the weekend to myself to recharge or yeah. I need to watch a happy movie. I need to watch a comedy. Um, yeah. Or crime. Hey, <laughs> you've got two spectrums, right? It might be comedy that floats your boat. It might be crime time, crime time TV. <laughs> Yeah. Well, and, and getting yeah. some rest, getting some rest, getting some exercise. Yes. I mean, th those could be other, you know, what Absolutely. is that? What's that recharge? I love that. In really a lot of these themes, as you think about it, that mm -hmm. is also an answer to them. Right. Uh, um, but finding that space to recharge, how do I, how do I recharge myself? How do I, how do I, yeah. How do I get that done? How can a manager yeah. with uh, positivity help others feel seen, heard and valued as an individual? Oh, well, as someone that loves to celebrate and recognize others, positive feedback probably feels more like the norm for you. I would say with that, though, make sure the feedback is, you know, specific to the team member. What specifically did they do or did the team do that was strengths based and successful? Um, so remember just to lead that particular recognition or feedback with intention behind it and specifics behind it. What about but that certainly helps people oh. feel valued when you're going, ooh, yeah, I feel seen and 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 recognized. But the why is going to make it that much more meaningful to them. Yeah. And I and I think you know? even uh e either with a, you know, it goes both ways of recognizing that element of positivity in it, of saying, you know what? I am <laughs> I am really glad you said that. Or I am even if it's a smile. Like there have mm -hmm. been times I've been doing something and somebody in a meeting, you know, they might smile in the meeting or smile at me about something mm -hmm. I said. And it actually kind of, you're like, oh, you're listening. You, you're you hearing. Now, I'm a, you know, I'm a, I'm a book that's easy to read. I, I put all my emotions right here, right? Not everybody's that way, but yeah. it, it is, I think there's that good intent. You know, if someone, someone, there was a, this old saying, you know, if you're, if your heart's feeling it, tell your face so we all know. And there's that <laughs> sometimes there's that element, I think, of being seen, valued, and heard, of letting just letting people know. Like mm -hmm. Just say say something, smile, like do some recognition. I think those all yeah. that all fits into this this idea of positivity. How can a manager with positivity build trust, inspire, and deepen team collaboration and community? Um, as a manager with that more optimistic perspective on life, your regular words of encouragement and support can bring feelings of 
psychological safety and compassion to the team. Mm -hmm. And that can create a safe space for individuals to provide recognition to each other or even share out their hesitancies or obstacles that might be getting in the way. And then when the team does feel challenged by an obstacle, your can-do attitude can help inspire confidence and perseverance. Even going back to what you said, Jim, earlier, um, let's think about the options that are available to us here so that it's solution-focused in terms of obstacles versus feeling stuck in a rut and getting stuck in the weeds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think maybe even that ability, when we think about community, that ability, if a group begins to dive, to mm -hmm. kind of change that direction a little bit, pull it back yeah. up through relationships, right? That just doesn't happen because we say so. Like, just because I say the sun will come up tomorrow doesn't mean people, like, I think it's because of the relationships I built with them, right? That mm -hmm. allow me as a manager to say, guys, I know it looks dark, but this is going to come around. We're going to be okay. Mm -hmm. like it, oh, we're going to get through this, right? We're going to figure this out. And I don't know why that's so powerful, to be honest. I, I think it, it's got to be built in as part of our human, you know, our, 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 our human condition that we know that. But when somebody else says it in, in the context of a relationship that we trust, it inspires yeah. us, right? I mean, you just. It is you, motivating. Yeah. Yeah. It's just amazing the way that works, the psychology. You said psychological safety in that. And I think it's a huge component of it, right? There's a mm -hmm. lot of other things a part of that. But final question. How can a manager with positivity support the growth of each team member? All right. Well, firstly, by discussing the team members' areas of strength and even any key moments in their journey that are just cause for recognition and celebration in your one-on-ones or developmental meetings. Um, but then when discussing areas requiring further development or skills training, this is where it sometimes I see it gets tricky for those high in positivity is offering constructive feedback, but frame it as an opportunity for growth and then highlight the positive outcomes that can result from that development or from that skills training. As you think about wrapping this up, I think I'm going to be honest for a second. Uh, this is an area, while it's six for me, it's an area I could still work on more. I think sometimes mm -hmm. I've leaned on it because it's easy. Mm -hmm. But I think the power of it, just as we've been talking about here, it's much greater in the context of team and team collaborations. And in my case, community, I, yeah. I think I need to work on it more. I, I, I don't think I can just rest. What do they say? Rest on your laurels. I, I don't think I can yeah. do, I can do that. I think I need to just, I, I just, I need to start spending some time focusing on it to say, not just how do I do it, but how, how do I do it effectively? Right. How do I turn that superpower? How do I take it from me to we? Yeah. I guess I'm being honest and saying I don't have it all together. Right. And I think everybody knows that. But it's one of those kinds of things as we've been talking about this. I think, oh, man, I could I could be more intentional about this and what I do. Jacqueline, take a second, wrap this up for us. Yeah. Well, I, I think we highlighted a lot of the strengths of positivity today. Um, you can overcome adversity or help people see that an obstacle might be an opportunity because there's different pathways that are still available to achieve a goal. Um, you help people in that sense of psychological safety where they feel comfortable enough to share their celebrations with you or their obstacles with you. Um, so continue to lean into that because like you mentioned earlier, um, Jim, it can be a morale booster for a lot of folks. It can be energizing for a lot of folks. The caveat that I would also share with positivity is to ensure you're giving people opportunities to, you know, just have their emotions. Um, it's easy even when they're in, you know, a negative state to say, oh, well, it's going to get better. But then it comes across, as we've all heard the term, as toxic positivity. So just make sure at the same time that you're, you know, being motivating and energizing, that you're allowing people that opportunity to have their lived experience first, to just kind of unpack their emotions before they reset because we all need to experience the, the, the full range of emotions that um, life has given us, the universe has given us. Mm. Yeah. So the pro well and the watch out for. Love it. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Well said. Some self-discovery uh, as mm -hmm. well through all this. Well, with that, we'll remind everyone to take full advantage of all the resources we do have available inside of Gallup Access. Head out to my.gallup.com. You can even just go to, uh, to uh, gallup.com. There's a, a little search icon in the upper right. Click on that. 
put in positivity. All the resources we've done are available there. I know I say that all the time, but maybe even thinking about doing it, just go do that right now. It's there. There's lots of stuff. Choose the positivity theme on that search and uh, lots of resources for you. For coaching, master coaching, or become a Gallup certified strengths coach, uh, you can send us an email, coachingagallup.com. We'll let you know how you do that. You can join us for the 2024 Gallup at Work Summit. It's coming up quickly, and uh, you'll want to get registered for it. We have both virtual and in-person options. Jacqueline and I get to host the virtual. And so you'll want to be there as well. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be a ton of fun. Stay up to date with all our future webcasts by jo oh, gallupatwork.com. I should say gallupatwork, all one word, dot com. Stay up to date on all our future webcasts by joining our Facebook groups or there on LinkedIn. Find us any place by searching Clifton Strengths. If you've enjoyed it, hit the like and subscribe. You got to do all that stuff. The kids are doing that these days. Subscribe to us, all that other good stuff. And thanks for listening. Thanks for coming out. If, you, uh, if you're listening live, stay around for a little bit of a mid-show. With that, we'll say goodbye, everybody.